Hi, so in this video, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to create a sky background using an HDRI uh, and make it rotate a little bit like we've got in this scene, in this glass house scene I did for uh, for Epic Games. The, um, so yeah, the sky enables you to, well, first of all, display the sky in the background, and then we've got this interactive kind of sky uh, um, sky um, sliders where we can change the brightness of it uh, and change the rotation of it and the speed at which it rotates. And then there's the slider also called HDRI contrast, which enables us to change the contrast. You can also slow up the HDR from here, so from the interface, so it's uh, much more practical than every time having to go into the material editor and change the um, sky if we want to try different skies out. So let's go in our scene and we'll create one from scratch. Okay, so back in our scene, I'm just going to create a new folder called Sky and uh, we're going to work in there. I've just downloaded f a f couple of um, skies from freehdrskies.com and I'm going to put them in here. Yeah, if you need to download some HDRs, you've probably got some, but here are, hdrskies.com. Uh, the, go the good thing is that you can download the small ones for free and then test them out. If not, uh, there's lots available. So we're going to, so I'm going to down, uh, open these ones. I just took three randomly. So we'll need those. And then actually what I'm to going to do while that's loading. Right, right, right. Pause. Okay, start again. So I'm going to download, I'm just going to import a sky from from that library, just uh, that one. And okay, and so when that's once that's loaded, I'm just going to double click on it, open the uh, editor window and we will need to come down here and from the texture group say no mip maps because you see that at the moment it's made it uh, 512 by 512 and we will uh, so this way we'll see the full res of the ACR which looks lovely so save that okay so next we're going to create a uh actually before we do that let's jump into 3ds max and we'll need to create uh, a sky dome so let's do that it's very simple so i just loaded my scene up um just for scale here i create a sphere i like to chop the bottom off um of the uh, of the sphere so that we can sort of see into it. So I just edit my poly and delete that sphere and then I'm going to apply a, sorry, not an unwrap, just a standard UV map, cylindrical, and then I'm going to make that twice the height. So I've got a um, HDR loaded in here and I'll make sure that the HDR um actually let me load this particular hdr so see how that's going to fit there you go and then so let's move that down so that we have no uh no horizon or maybe keep a bit of the horizon there you go Okay, so that's uh, that's good. And then, so what, what we'll need also need to do is change the normal. So the normal, so that, and I like to um, enable backface cull into uh, 3ds Max. 
so that we can see inside. So that's our sphere uh, with the UV map. So go back in here and then I export it to um, our sphere. Okay, so now back in Unreal Engine, I import uh, my sphere. So let me. Okay, so we've got our sphere here. Same settings, generate, uh, untick, generate light map UVs and uh, import materials. Or I'd like to not import materials, I do it in here. And I can just put my sphere straight in the scene and we can see that it's going to surround our little box here. Okay, so once we do that, we've done that, we can create a material and call this Sky Dome. Okay. And then first thing we're going to do using this Sky Dome material is we're going to go and change its shading model to unlit. So then a lot of the uh, plugs will disappear. And then I'm just going to bring in my um, HDR. And I plug this to the emissive color. And then you see that we have an error because it knows that it's a texture, but it also knows that it's a cube map uh, from the HDR. And it's not uh, saying it has needs UV inputs. So in order to sort out this problem, we are going to give it a world, absolute world position. And if we just plug that in straight away, it appears. And then if we drag our sky dome material onto the sky dome, fantastic. We've got it as a background. Okay, and now what we could do is add um, another parameter to enables you enable us to import and test out different skies. So Let's go back into our sky uh, material and we can convert this texture to a parameter this way. And then we'll just call that HDRI map and save that. And now let's just import another uh, HDR. So here I'm going to import a sky from uh, Peter Guthrie, who's got a fantastic quality uh, skies. And you will notice that here, this, um, this sky comes completely white, washed out. And here, this one, everything's in range. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. So here it's completely washed out. And it's not going to work if we uh, want to swap out different uh, um, texture, different sky backgrounds, and uh, have to change the um, brightness every time. So it's much better to change the brightness in here in this edit window. And for the Peter Guthrie ones, I think a value as po of 0.25 seems to give us um, the kind of normal unclipped version. So these skies are obviously very massive. So see here, we've just got um, our clipped values in sort of red orangey there. So we can just see maybe uh, 0 0.02 will give us the full range. And also don't forget that in order to get the full resolution, so just waiting for it to update here, we'll need to um, cancel out the mitmap setting. So here we see the, the full resolution. So yeah, let's, um, I don't want to go too low because then we'll have a, a sky that's quite dark. So I guess we'll just point, keep it, keep it at 0 0.02 like this. We'll have most of the skies. And um, so let's now open our instance material and we'll see that we have our HDR map setting that's a parameter that's showing up. So move this out of the way and then just drag and drop. Sorry, we've got it 
um, uh, turn it on first and then we just simply change our sky just like that. So now let's see how we can just very simply use these the same image and use that to light our scene in the next video.